Shalom family, trendsetter. I'm driving so you'll hear some noise in the background as well as I do have a tendency to struggle for words when I speak, so please bear with me. Now, I just want to come on here real quick because, man, I'm, I'm really and truly getting sick and tired of our people. And I'm not just talking about, you know, African-American, West Indian people. I'm talking about all the melanated people of this planet that are so fucking stupid and dumbed down when it comes to this damn religion called Christianity. Now, I'm sure y'all are reading what's on you alls screen. And this is why I've been saying over and over that our people are delusional. They are under a spell. They are trying to gain salvation through Jesus Christ, which is a damn devil. You know what I'm saying? Which is the so-called fucking white man. And this is why I try to always come on here with vulgarity because I'm trying to desensitize y'all to the point where I can wake up and realize that Christianity is a witchcraft bewitched on the black masses of people I could care less about the other nation if they want to believe in that shit that's their religion let them to keep it now a Zimbabwe pastor right I'm going to just paraphrase I read the article I'm just going to break it down he was arrested for selling tickets to heaven Basically stated that he was on the phone with God or Jesus and pretty much told his congregation that he have golden tickets, right, to heaven. And do you believe me when I tell you or would you believe me if I tell you that these idiots was actually buying these tickets? And I'm sure the tickets probably wasn't even golden. They probably was gold plated or some shit, Right. And when they, uh, the authorities caught went to it, they arrested him. And would you also believe that the congregation, not only the congregation, but other people are rallying around this pastor for his release? Now, you tell me if our people are not under a spell, family, really and truly now, this is now enough is enough. You know, I know I used to talk about Christianity often and tell you how it's a strong delusion and how, you know, it's bullshit and it's a slave doctrine. And I know a lot of y'all Christians out there is like, what is he talking about? Oh, my God, he's blaspheming and he's going to hell. And I lost a lot of subscribers and, you know, and the ones that stuck by me, a lot of them are Christians, believe it or not, that subscribe to me. But you know what it is? They is something about me or something about what I'm saying. Think about me that kind of like hmm i wonder if this man is onto something you know what i'm saying because i don't know what else to tell y'all other than that y'all are under a spell you're gonna tell me they can't even go to the damn moon i know a lot of y'all believe that they went to the moon and shit and the earth is round and it's spinning thousands and thousands of miles and you know right now i'm driving past some trees i don't see no trees blowing right i wish i could show y'all this and as a matter of fact the next time I'm going to make another video about this. So if the if the earth is spending thousands and thousands of miles, why are we not having constant tornadoes and shit, all right? Or hurricane, hurricane winds. But y'all believe the earth is round and we're on a globe and it's spinning and we can bend water and shit. And the people that's on the bottom of the, uh, of the earth or, the, or the, 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 yeah, the, the round globe, right? They're sticking to the earth because of gravity. And you got planes and shit that can actually touch down um, leaving out of Baltimore going to let's say New York and they could actually land on the runway perfectly at the rate the earth is spinning now you idiots actually believe y'all can buy y'all way in heaven by giving your tithes and offering religiously Sunday to these agents these these devil these are devils too because the devil just basically means a deceiver when I say the white man is the devil the white man have literally um, put these people up in our community every community you go to you see at least four or five church and shit Within a two or three block radius You know what I'm saying And now this devil right here is saying <laughs> He have a ticket to heaven You got a ticket to heaven alright But it's not the heaven you think it is You feel me It's not the heaven you think it is People we need to wake up Please wake up Now I want for y'all to go and google Or research this article and read it for yourself And for you Christians who think I'm always blaspheming Who think I'm going to hell I want y'all after reading this shit If y'all don't tell me if, if you can't see Let me just say that If you can't see that something is wrong with this picture It's not just him 
it's your pastor that's very pious and humble speaking and you know religiously come into church and very soft spoken and you know they know how to be with y'all with their voice and these motivational speakers you know know how to come into your into your into your home into your life and shit and lie to y'all I understand that, you know, a lot of us are looking for something more than what we have. Because, shit, I'm hoping and praying that there really is a heaven that these devils preach about. Because the last time I checked, we was going to come right back here on Earth, right under the new kingdom when they destroy the wickedness of this planet, which I refer to as hell. Right. We're going to come right here and we this is where we're going to be, you know, set up. We're not going to be in heaven with the angels and the most. high. nobody goes to heaven and, old, and with the most. High. The only person that went there was the, was the prophet of old. It's actually one or two of them, I believe. Right. But we're not going there. We're going to be right here tested and proven to decide whether or not we, we even going to continue to be here. Shalom.